Hello there, and welcome aboard another episode of Rule the Waves 2 as Great Britain. As you can see, I have not changed the time of day, because it occurs to me that I have plenty of ships with Nightfire radar capability, and I think that may be sufficient to uh, win this fight. So we're going to give that a try, and hopefully it'll turn out in my favor. It's not as though I have any battleships or anything to strike against anyway. So yeah, that's the plan. We're going to take my cruiser force right on in. And hopefully we can radar spot the enemy before we get into uh, gun range. And we can use that to fight the enemy at night. Uh, we're also going to have plenty of carriers and such around. But I don't think that's going to be very significant. Aside from their mere presence. Alright, well, I think that about summarizes things for now. Let's get this battle started. So we're going to start the clock rolling. Uh, here comes the sunset. Pick up the pace to fast speed and see what we can find. Looks like our main forces are closing in for the night. Okay. You know what? We'll just pick things up to fast available speed. Alright, and we have our first spotting report right there. Cruisers. Four heavy cruisers. Alright, we'll pick up the pace to 20 knots. And we are on an intercept course. Should be getting radar reports any moment though. There we go. Okay. Turn south. And accelerate to, you know what, we'll do 28 knots, just to make sure everyone else can hold formation. We'll encounter these guys at night. Oh, hang on. Pick the game speed down to normal so we can actually keep cruising. Ah, there's their force. So the real trick is going to be... Oh, interesting. They are turning to engage. All right, let's open our broadsides. Limit the closing rate. Oh, there's another force over there. That's not good. Okay. Well, now's as good a time as any. Order the flotilla attack and let's send our destroyers in. Let's get some torpedoes off while we have the chance. Ooh, immediate response. Look at that. And those are looking beautiful. Come on, come on, get them. One miss. Oh, that's a hit. Let's see, what did we get? Lead ship. Nice shooting and more torpedoes on the way. And another hit. This time on number two. Here's hoping those are cruisers and not destroyers. No idea what that force to the north is. I will bet that those are the carriers. I don't particularly want to get too engaged with their cruisers, but if we're able to get around back and into their carrier groups, that would be very, very nice. Ooh, yeah, Vineta class. Looks like we're taking on Germans today. Those are some nice cruisers. So yeah, it looks like it was cruisers in the lead. That is fantastic news. Keep on a rolling. Okay, Bardish, what are you doing? Why are you guys crawling like that? Okay, yeah, you guys are on core, yeah, yeah, that's that's all good. Anything else? Hmm. I really want to break formation and send our cruiser groups in separately so we can get a proper double envelopment. But that's also very, very risky. Okay, how's Niobe doing? Doing just fine. 
Oh yeah, these Ariadne class are so nice. I definitely want a few more of these. In fact, I think that's going to be my standard heavy cruiser design for the rest of this game. Or at least variations of it. Just like these Dakars and variations of them are going to be my standard light cruiser. We are just about into the end game as far as technology. I'm going to take manual control over these. Yeah. Manual control. 28 knots. And we're going to see if we can get in. Some flank attacks. Take these guys down to the south. Well, no. We're just going to pick them up to speed. Ooh, what is that? We've got more unknown ships over this way. Okay, we're going to take my light cruisers. What are you guys doing? Osiris, you're an idiot. And I hope you don't hit anything important with those. Honestly, though, I don't hugely mind reckless torpedo launching. Because that's better than them refusing to fire at everything. Oh, there we go. Pioneer got hit. Okay. Okay. So let's detach her and get her out of there. That was part of what? This group? Yep. Yeah. Okay, detach. Yes. So Pioneer, we're going to take manual control, reduce speed. Eight knots seems good. You're not too terribly damaged. Come on. There we go. And we'll just point you right back. That seems good. I know this port is closer, but it's going to require paying attention near the end in order to get her actually into port. So, since this one's just a straight shot, and also more likely to be clear of enemies, I think that seems a better, more safe response. Okay, let's get these cruises up this way, and let's see. Well, whatever these things are, we are firing at them. Let's turn to open broadsides. Anything else? I'm going to withdraw the flotilla attack order so that they don't get too reckless. And as long as they're firing in the correct directions, I don't particularly care, but they're getting so aggressive they're firing at friendlies as well. Oh, come on. That totally looked like a hit. Okay, what do we got here? Well, whatever those things are, they're getting shot up pretty good. Uh, fantastic. Oh, I hope those are big ships. And more torpedoes into the poor Vinetta class. I think she's out of the fight now. She's got to be sinking after that many torpedoes. And we're going to keep doing this dance of chaos. And it looks like the enemy is scattering. Okay, so what's going on here? So these are nothing but carriers with the occasional light cruiser. Which suggests that the enemy's composition is going to be similar because of how the battle generator works. So if we had heavy cruisers down here... That's probably their main force. So I'll bet this is their carriers, and that's what I really want to get. But I don't know what these are. That's really strange. I'll turn these guys to the north. But if we can get in and destroy these carriers, I would be super duper happy. Okay, looks like my destroyers are still charging after whatever this stuff down here is. Hopefully they start... Uh, looks like we've got them pretty effectively on the run, but I do hope my destroyers start coming back soon. Because I don't really like them falling too far behind. Let's see, what else we have going on here? Looking 
good. I am very curious if diesel powered ships are vulnerable to hits in the uptakes. Steam powered ships are quite vulnerable to that. You blow a hole in their smokestacks and they lose the uh, nice draft of air that uh, fuels the fires and they don't burn as hot, they don't make as much steam. So that totally makes sense why it would limit your propulsion. But diesel boats, all the exhaust really needs to do is get off the ship. It's not like the supercharger is powered by exhaust. It's a supercharger that's powered directly off the engine's crankshaft. So it wouldn't really make sense for a hit in the exhaust piping to limit your speed unless they're concerned about, ooh, here we go, torpedo hit on whatever this is. My bet is light cruisers or destroyers, but you know, it's really hard to tell when all you got is radar contacts. All right, Ariadne is down to 50% ammunition. That's fine. They're doing exactly what they are intended to do. Uh, hopefully my destroyers start coming back soon too. Anyway, what was I talking about? I was talking about uh, diesels and their uh, exhaust and intake systems. So yeah, the diesel main engines, uh, they're supercharged, not turbocharged. Whoa, hang on. This is a new error message. Error in handle hit procedure, CL Perseus, hit location six. List index out of bounds. All right, just a second, let me take a uh, screenshot of this because I've never seen that before. Okay, and who got hit? Okay, Perseus got hit. Doesn't look too bad. Let's see, log. Okay, there's the fore and aft hull hit. There's the hull hit belt, near miss. And there should be a fourth hit here from this turn. So I guess it didn't register? That's weird. Oh well. Looks like our destroyers are finally starting to get into the fight. And whatever these are, we've got them under fire. Okay, keep on chasing. I am very curious what that is. I hope it's a carrier. But yeah, this is exactly the sort of fight that I was looking for. If I'd done a daytime fight, their carriers would have been able to retaliate at us, and that would not be good. And I would probably also be dealing with a whole lot of inaccurate spotting reports to try and figure out which enemies to uh, launch strikes at. Here we go, enemy cruiser hit by torpedoes. Oh, nice. Well, that one's definitely out of the fight. So that is at least two enemy cruisers confirmed sunk for all practical purposes. Oberon reduced speed due to flooding. What? That's hardly anything. Don't be a weenie. Keep going. But at least you're launching a decent spread of torpedoes. That looks like almost everything you got. Oh yeah, there we go. Full flush. Fine by me. Okay, that is definitely acting like destroyers. So we're gonna turn after this force over here. Corvette Dumfries strikes a mine. What? What are you idiots doing? Heck, what do we even have down here? Is this where we, hmm. Uh, we do have a whole bunch of shore batteries and mines and such in this area. Interesting. I wonder what's going on there. Okay, well, there's a whole bunch of ships. Back to the fight. Back to the fight. 
We're still going to keep pursuing this group. And there's also ships down here. Let's turn our light cruiser forces down to the south. Another hit on that cruiser. Yeah, she's already sinking quite nicely. Oh, we got a destroyer down here that's burning out too. Nice. Okay, Abukir is running low on ammo. We're down to 50% ammo. That's fine. Hopefully these other cruisers are joining in. Yeah, that they are. Okay. Looking good. Argonaut, what are you doing? Not accelerating fast enough, that's what. Okay, well, keep going. Hmm. So I know earlier I was talking about building more battle cruisers, but honestly, I'm not really sure that that's necessary. These heavy cruisers are doing just fine. Hang on. Abukir is on fire. How bad is it? Down to 29 knots. We still have plenty of ammunition in there, though, so hopefully she's able to get the fires out. Let's see what happens if we cut down this way. Maybe if we go parallel with the wind, it'll reduce the... Uh, it'll help them fight the fires. We won't have those winds sweeping across the deck and forcing it to spread. Okay, Pyramus is low, down to 50% ammo. Sounds good. What is this force doing? Still running to the southeast. Okay, how's Abaku doing? Oh, up to three. Well, that's not good. Oh, and we got hit on the aircraft catapult too. So that's an aviation, that's an avgas fire. All right. I think it's worthwhile. Let's detach the Abakir. And we're going to take her. AI control, reduce speed. Now we're going to go down to cruising for now. And in a few turns, we're going to turn her back. In a little bit, we're going to put her to a ceasefire. But for now, I need her to keep chasing. And then as soon as she's able to get the fires out, then we can bring her back. Because the ship itself is in excellent condition. Okay, cease fire and reduce speed. Okay, Bardish is down to 50% ammo, that's fine. Okay, that is a confirmed three heavy cruisers sunk or sinking. Fantastic. Actually, let's keep going this way, whatever those are. What are you guys doing? Still trying to scout? You're not doing a very good job scouting. Well, maybe you are. I mean, you're still maintaining radar contact, so that's good. With whatever's down south here and this group's over here. Well, that thing is still running at decent speed. Let's bring the cruisers back this way. And that is looking like a formation. Okay, turn back in. How's the Abaco doing? Ooh, it's spreading. Okay. And for all the torpedoes we're launching, we are not having the best accuracy. I say as we score two more torpedo hits. <laughs> okay, not too terribly bad. Where's the rest of our cruisers doing? Niobe Amphitrite. Why are you guys so slow? Come on, pick up the pace. It ain't hard. And more torpedo hits on whatever the heck that thing was. Uh, 
Okay, looking good. I'll bet those are destroyers. And that is fine by me. How's the Pioneer doing? Looks like she's got the flooding under control. It's just down to that one permanent flooding. We'll pick the speed up to 10 knots and expedite her return to harbor. How's the Abakir doing? Oh good, looks like it's coming under control. That did burn up a fair bit of structure, so that's not great, but we are getting that fire under control. Well, we'll let her keep fighting that fire. Pick up the speed to 32 knots so we can actually run these things down. Ariadne's running low on secondary ammunition too. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Keep chasing. Oh yeah, that was a carrier. CV Nuid class. Ooh, and that's a big mother. That's a big mother too. 32,000 tons. Oh yeah. Well, that thing down and the heavy cruisers too. I don't think the blockade is coming back anytime soon. This is exactly the sort of fight that I needed. Now, hopefully our next fight will be a nice air daytime air combat fight. But uh, that is a concern for our next time. Except you're avoiding torpedoes. Uh-oh. Evasion. Forgot the importance of stern camping. What are you guys doing? I'd better be picking up their speed. Niobe's only 22 knots. That's not enough. Come on, man. Pick the pace up. Yeah, that's definitely a destroyer there. Alright, slamming a few more 10 inch shells into it. That ought to do some damage. It's still moving. That's surprising. Okay, yeah, she's slowing down. Alright, good. Looks like we did plenty of damage. Okay, time to shift our fire. That group. Or this solo guy. Yeah, let's focus on that group. Okay. And it looks like we may have the enemy potentially able to be cut off. So yeah, let's turn up this way and continue racing onward. How's our cruisers doing? Our light cruisers, they're doing just fine. There is another force over here, so I'm going to turn these guys to the north as well. Hopefully we'll be able to cut them off. How's the Abacar doing? Okay, fire's under control. Let's, uh... Let's open fire again. Actually, heck, is the fire out? Yeah, fire extinguished. Okay, hopefully we don't have a reflash when we open fire. All right, looks like Abukir is kicking the uh, kicking that thing's butt, whatever it may be. It looks like these forces are running squarely into the land. Well, that's good. Oh, and we have a light cruiser, Hamburg class. Ooh. Honestly, that's a pretty good light cruiser. Very much a uh, flak cruiser. With those huge collection of five inch dual purpose guns. But. I don't know. It's a little bit weak there. 
Only 58 heavy AA factor? I don't think they could do better than that. Huh. That's weird. They've got asymmetric torpedo launchers. I've only got one on the starboard. Did I blow the other one off? I don't think the game renders that. Alright, well, that cruiser is down and out of the fight. And it looks like the enemy's retreating south. So let's bring our light cruisers down that way. And where's our other cruisers? Yeah, these guys. Squad Max, we're going to dive them straight down that way as well. Because we want them all getting engaged. Okay. What are you... Oh, line abreast? That's a little awkward. Well, actually, it's not too terribly bad. Because they're already relatively parallel, so it actually works out fairly well. Okay, Bardiche opens fire at that thing, scores a whole bunch of hits. Fantastic. Uh oh, that's the guy avoiding to Whew. Okay, that was lucky. Let's see, and we also had Venus limits flooding. Why does Venus have flooding? Oh, okay, she got a few medium hits. What was it? Hole hit, belt penetrated, belt extended penetrated, yeah. Ugh, splinters in the uptakes. Well, that's rude. Okay, well, keep going. And now the Pyramus avoiding torpedoes too. Well, at least we successfully dodged. And whatever that is, it is not doing too well. Let's see. How do I turn this group around? Because I want them heading essentially... Well, no, they seem to be doing just fine. Yeah, turn together. Yeah, they're doing fine. So they've got their broadsides open, mostly. I think that's doing the job just fine. And these two cruisers, they can turn broadside open as well. And we'll just keep on running south. Let's see if we can get our light cruisers ahead of them. And we can force these groups to turn back. Interesting. They seem to be running around in confusion. Pyramus is down on secondary ammunition. That's fine. And what are they doing? Oh, that's interesting. They appear to be charging. One more turn. Okay, they're heading back north. And... About face. And... About face. And we'll also take the opportunity to start reforming these into a proper line ahead. Okay. Let's see. Do we have any other ships that we can send in? I know we've got this group with the carrier, but... I really don't want my carriers getting involved in a surface action. That is what one would call a bad plan. Speaking of which, where are the remainder of my carriers? Okay, 
they're up here, well covered. Looking good. So we've got these fellows, they just need to, you know, actually get into the fight. And we've got destroyers in the back here, which we can indeed. Hmm. I forgot that these destroyers are slow. That is a little bit of an issue. Okay. Well, let's issue the flotilla attack order and hopefully they'll get themselves into a good position. Okay, select targets. Nope, not that. Not that. There we go. Those are the groups I want them firing at. Oh, there's a whole group down here as well. Uh -oh. We're about to crash headlong into those too. Uh, let's take these cruisers. Take the heavy cruiser group two and bring them down as well to fend off whatever this is. Turn away. Excelsior avoiding torpedoes. Yeah, we are in that position again. Turn away, open our range a little bit. Oh boy, we got ourselves a CVL in sight. Alrighty, we got secondaries and primaries from our light cruisers firing at it. Flatten that thing, guys. I want every last shell you've got firing into that thing. Ooh. And well, Excelsior took a hit. Actually, that's not bad. That is not bad at all. Okay. I mean, she is limited on speed, so I'm going to have to get her out of the fight. But... All in all, not too terribly bad. All right, Excelsior, detach. Take manual control. For safety's sake, we are reducing speed. 10 knots. And we're gonna start turning you away. What the, Abaker's on fire again? Okay. What the heck is happening here? Oh, come on. A single five inch shell hit. Uh, this is ridiculous. You'd think modern ships would be better at fighting fires, but no, they suffer even more. All right, do we have torpedoes launched? Not yet, let's turn back to the north. And that is gonna cost us some speed, but that is okay. Turn, baby, turn. Oh no. Amphitrite's avoiding torpedoes, that would be straight like that, which means Niobe's next. Whew. Okay, looks like we've successfully dodged that bullet. How are things going up to the north here? Okay, Excelsior is doing fine. I think, aside from the reduction in speed, we can keep her around. So I'm going to keep her in this area as a block to whatever it is that's running north here. And how are things going here? Fish in the water. Ah, nuts. 
Ariadne got hit. Ooh, and she got hit bad. Oh, so much for that plan. Turn away, reduce speed. That's all we can really do. Turn, baby, turn. Yeah, she runs squ ran squarely into that uh, destroyer. Oh, we got a carrier here. Another Freya class. All right. It's getting plenty of gun hits on her. And I'm going to take manual control over these guys. And we're going to get them right into the thick of things. Because they've been lagging behind for now. And I want somebody to cover the Ariadne as she flees. Looks like we're getting the flooding under control, so that's good. And we don't have any fires to worry about yet, so that's good. Speaking of fires, how is the Abukir doing? There we go, fire extinguished. Okay, I think we're just going to play it safe and send her straight back to port. Alright, and we got a hit on something over here. Whatever that was. And that is fine by me. And now we also have to worry about those destroyers up there. Oh, hang on. What's going on here? Okay. Whew. Every now and then my computer just struggles with the simplest of games, which is a very weird thing. All right. Excelsior is down to 50% secondary ammunition. That's fine. Okay. And they are still focus firing on that light cruiser. Can we uh, shift our fire to something else like that? That's probably a better use of our resources. Bardish cannot keep up to vi with the vision. Yeah, okay, we'll detach. What's going on with Bardish? Down to 17 knots. Oof. Flash fire, two turrets burnt out. Endrum hit, hull hit. One, two, three penetrating endrum hits. Okay, yeah, that'll do it. And here we go, splinters in the uptakes. Ah, <sighs> yeah, that's a thing. Okay. I think that light cruiser is in trouble. She got lucky once. Oh, she got lucky twice. I can't believe it. That is insane. Speaking of which, how is Bardish doing? Bardish is still doing fine. She's just down some turrets. And of course, we got some kind of fight going on over here. No idea what. But they're dealing with something. How's Cybele doing? Oh, uh, come on. Why do we have Comus class in this mess? I got a whole group of cruisers that don't belong in this fight. Okay. Uh, in that case. I would like to see if we can get these fellows. So these are the older cruisers. They seem, how's our ammunition doing? Not great, but we're still doing good stuff. And I would love to see if these destroyers could get into the fight. All right, so I think we're gonna let this group get away from here. Hang on, what's going on here? Did somebody lose their rudder? Yeah, Thetis lost her rubber, her rudder. Okay, 
Well, in that case, let's turn the Calliope back in. Oh boy, those guys are headed south. That's fine. Lizard strikes a mine. Well, that doesn't particularly matter to me because that's not in an area that I operate at. Oh, great. And it looks like the Intrepid is charging right in. Well, okay, not charging right in. It looks like she's running away. Or is she? Okay, yeah, she is quite sensibly running away. That is the intelligent thing to do. But I want these guys to get in the fight and stay in the fight. So we're going to turn them around. Okay, we're getting some ammunition warnings. How are these destroyers doing? Just fine. Lizard strikes another mine. She is having all the worst luck. Somehow I don't think that there's actually two mines stacked on top of each other. My bet is that it just started moving forward and happened to hit the same mine a second time. Oh, there we go. Enemy unidentified ship struck by torpedo. Fantastic. I do believe, yeah, flotilla orders are out. So hopefully they should be actually attacking. Yeah, I don't care if you're running low on ammo. Use every last shell if you have to. We've almost got them. They will not be going home tonight. Okay, destroyers. Those are some good looking torpedoes there and we've got more on the way. Good. There's one hit, fantastic. And we are still firing upon the Freya. All right, I'm gonna turn you south. So I wanna make sure that that Freya is finished. How's an IOB doing? Okay, this group is doing just fine. A little low on ammo, but overall not too bad. How is the Ariadne doing? Did we ever get that flooding stopped? Almost. Okay, not too terribly bad. And she's at a safe distance, so we're gonna reduce her speed even more. Going down to four knots. Hopefully that'll help her get that last little bit of flooding under control. Uh, Diana avoiding torpedoes. Ugh, and she got hit. Okay, time to pop her off. Looks like she already did pop off. And reduce speed. Six knots should be good. And we're gonna break her off to the north for now. Looking good. Let's see if we can cut back in. Comb their wakes so we don't get any torpedoes shoved down our throats. Paramus is out of main ammo. Okay, that honestly, I'm not surprised. Hopefully you've still got a little bit of secondary. Yeah, still got a few secondary rounds left. Keep firing. Oh boy, we've got two carriers in trouble. Nuid and Freya. And they are both looking like they're, well, Nuid is stopped and burning, so she's probably sinking. And the Freya, well, it says five knots. She may actually be stopped. Yeah, she stopped. Okay. All 
Okay, let's turn the Excelsior back north. How's the Calliope doing? Just fine. Still got plenty of ammunition left. Although, charging straight at them is probably not the best plan. Let's uh, see if we can break north. You should have your rudder back, maybe. Unless you're locked on a uh, collision course. How's Niobe doing? Just fine. Looks like the other cruisers are a little bit spread out. Let's reduce speed a bit. Maybe give them a chance to reform. Okay, yeah, these two are definitely sinking now. Okay, Bardish still has plenty of ammunition left. What is this thing doing? Unidentified ship, medium damage. I am very curious if it's moving or not. Looks like the enemy down here is retreating. Okay, let's see what they do. Okay, so they're heading that way. And that didn't move. Okay. Let's bring our cruisers back to this way. Cut across their sterns again. Oh, hang on, what's going on with the Venus? Why did command just shift? Oh, she just got hit pretty bad. And Calliope just got hit by what? Five inch guns. Okay. I'm sure that's a lot of five inch hits. So that's not great, but okay. Oh, and we found an enemy cruiser. Gera class. Looks like another flak cruiser. Okay. And she's most definitely dead now. Cruisers that are stopped usually do not survive a torpedo hit. That has been my general experience. Oh man, and we are coming up on our time limit here. So we're gonna have to see about finishing this off. Because I'd rather not carry this over into the next episode. Okay, anything going on up north? Oh, whatever that thing is, it's on fire now, so that's good. I'll turn the Calliope back on whatever this is. That's a guy in Pyramus. I can put those back on AI control. What about the Thetis? I was doing a decent job here. But we'll put her back on AI control so we can try and expedite the end of this battle. Pretty sure these fellows are all sinking. Except for that. So that in mind, let's actually turn around a bit. And see if we can finish it off. Okay, Bardish is out of ammo. Okay, that's 
Well, that's to be expected with autoloaders. I'm not going to lie, I do rather like these uh, night fights when you have radar and blind fire capability. Because you're never entirely sure what it is on the other end. And for all I know, those could be destroyers or those could be... Yeah, those are destroyers. Oof. Oh, man. That was bad. Well, there goes one Pandora class. Let's hope my destroyers can take a good toll on these fellows in exchange. Because they're targeting. Oh no! Perseus blows up too! Well, there goes all of my uh, cruisers. Okay, taking manual control. We're going in at 20 knot or 28 knots. We're going to cut these fellows off and we're going to close into gun range. Okay. And what is Intrepid doing? Um well, they still have plenty of ammunition, so that's something. Line ahead, form back into a line. Open line broadsides. Yep, oh, there's our ammunition warnings. How's Venus doing? Yeah, she's sinking. Well, that was a really bad few minutes. One ship torpedoed, one ship blown up. Hopefully these destroyers actually start shooting now. You've got plenty of ammo. Now I just need to shoot. Okay, yeah, they're firing now. And it looks like they're opening fire with torpedoes too. Speaking of which, let's see what we can do with this. We're going to try and shove a few torpedoes down their throats. Okay, how about Manners, lead ship in the group? Did you? Oh yeah, Manners already fired, okay. So it looks like we're stuck with the Mary Rose. Fire torpedoes. We're going to go with the lead ship. Alright, I think that's a good solution. One volley away. Next up, Nessus. Uh, that one. Ooh, out of arc. What do you mean out of arc? That's a load of baloney. Let's see how the noble is doing. Uh, not good. All right, well, that's a decent shot. Let's pop off another volley. And if we're lucky, Nessus will be able to fire again as well. Oh, not that one. Oh, okay, that one's out of arc, out of arc. I could go with that one. Okay, that'll work. It's away. And, okay, looks like we're running out of time here. So I'm going to turn these cruisers around. And we're going to call this episode to a close here. I can't imagine that the uh, fight is going to continue much longer into the next episode. But, uh, yeah, we are out of time. So until next time, this is Katori87 signing out.